In previous videos in the series, we've learned how to send and receive CAN signals in ISOTP frames. Now we're going to be learning how to implement them with scripts. If you want to send multiple messages, create sequences, or interact with the CAN bus automatically, learning how to programmatically control your interactions with a CAN bus through scripts is going to be critical to your car hacking journey. Before we go any further, if you want to learn how to find and identify signals on the CAN bus, take a look at our IC SIM video. This will walk you through how to identify the signals that you need to control the vehicle functions you want to change. I won't show you the exact packets that I'm working with today because that'll give away some answers in our Capture the Flag challenge. But I'll use examples and you should be able to find and identify messages in your own car and send them in just the same way that I am. Bash scripting is fundamentally pretty simple. Bash is the default command line or shell that you'll find on most Unix systems and in our case, Kali Linux. If you made it this far in the series, you've already used it for things like sending and receiving CAN messages on the bus and interacting with modules through ISOTP. Scripting allows you to take those same commands and use them in a program to accomplish more complex tasks than you'd be able to achieve by sending one or two messages at a time on the command line. To create a script, we first need a file, and the editor that we'll be using to write to that file is vim. We'll run vim to create the file with the command vim lightsdemo.sh. The .sh extension will tell the computer that this is a shell script, and it'll run using the shell that we specify in the first line of the file. Now to start writing in Vim, we need to first enter insert mode. To do that, look in the bottom left of your screen and press I. Now when it says insert mode, you know you're ready to type. That first line in our file is going to be a shebang bin bash. This will tell the computer to use the bash shell specified at this location, slash bin slash bash. The rest of the file will look a lot like the commands you're used to using to bringing up a CAN interface and sending CAN send messages. If you don't already have a CAN interface set up, the first thing we're going to do is bring it up just like we're used to. So here we're using the typical IP link command to bring the CAN interface up and call it CAN0. What I'm trying to do in the script is flash the lights between two separate colors and wait a little bit between flashes. So to do that, we're going to need a while loop which will execute the command repeatedly without us having to write it out over and over. In bash, you start a while loop by just typing while with a space and a colon. Now here you would normally have a parameter that the while loop would look for. For example, while a number is less than a set value, you would want to execute something, or until a program is complete. But in our case, we want it to keep running until we manually interrupt it. This is not usually good practice, but we're going to do it anyways just to keep the program simple. The next thing you need in a while loop is a do. This do will tell the computer what commands to execute while the while loop condition has not yet been met. So we just write do. When you press enter on a new line, your cursor should automatically skip over, and if it doesn't, just press tab. Now anything that we write here that's indented will be executed repeatedly. The first thing that we want to do is we want to send a can message, and we're going to use can send to do that. So the command we're going to type is can send, and then specify the interface, and then we're going to type out the can message that we want to send. Now I'm just going to be using example data here, but on your script, if you're interacting with IC SIM, you can use something like the blinker to send your own blinker signal. Now that we're sending a CAN message to arbitration ID 321 with this data, we're going to have it wait just a little bit. If we're flashing the lights in this color, we don't want it to immediately switch. We want to see the color for a second. So we're going to use the sleep command. And whatever you specify here will tell the bash script how long to wait in seconds. And I want to wait just a fraction of a second. So I'm going to use a millisecond of 0.326. And this timing, the 0.326, will let it wait for 326 milliseconds. Once we're done sleeping, we want to send a different message to signify the change to a different light. Now anything in the do is going to repeat. So after the second message is sent, it's not going to sleep at all. It's just going to go back to the first message of 1212. So what we want to do is have it sleep just one more time. And in my case, I want it to sleep for the same duration. 
And once it's done sleeping, that's the end of our script. So I'll just end it with done. To exit Vim, you press escape to exit insert mode in the bottom left, and then a colon, and then a W, Q. The W will write the file and the Q will quit. So now that I'm back out, I can use LS to see the file, but it's not yet an executable. This won't actually run. So I need to use chmod to change the permissions and tell the computer that this file is allowed to execute. So use chmod plus x to add executable permissions to this file. Then I can start typing the name of the file and use tab to autocomplete. Now if we use ls again, we can see that this is now blue. Now it's time to run Light's demo and let's see what it does. So enjoy our festive song written and performed by programs that are much smarter than this one. It's Christmas time and the roads are clear, but watch out hackers, we're coming near. Our cars are protected, our data secure. No one can breach us, that's for sure. Automotive cybersecurity, oh what fun. Our cars are safe, our data's won. We'll drive with peace of mind this season. No need to fear, our cars are speeding. We have firewalls, encryption keys. Our systems are updated, no need to freeze. We'll hit the road, no worries or stress. Our cars are safe, we'll pass the test. Automotive cybersecurity, oh what fun. Our cars are safe, our data's won. We'll drive with peace of mind this season. No need to fear, our cars are speeding. No hackers can breach us, we're ready to go. Our cars are secure, from head to toe. We'll enjoy the holidays, no need to fuss. Thanks to our automotive cybersecurity, hooray for us. Automotive cybersecurity, oh what fun. Our cars are safe, our data's won. We'll drive with peace of mind this season. No need to fear, our cars are speeding. Black Harbor Cybersecurity. Oh, what fun, our cars are safe, our data's won.